What? What is happening here? <laughs> The new DeepSeek R1. I tried running locally the DeepSeek R1 8B, but I don't know why it went into this weird thinking loop and never stopped. I couldn't make it work. So let's test the full DeepSeek model. Yeah. Create a dot to dot puzzle game of a penguin in a self contained HTML file. Okay, it finished. It took a long time. Holy mother of God. What? This is the dot to dot puzzle that the Dipsic made. <laughs> what? My God. I think this is the nicest looking I have seen ever. But there's no penguin <laughs> here. Well, let's try it anyway. Okay, it gives me a hint of the next thing I need to click. Not a hint, actually, it's, it's just the... It's saying right here, please click me. <laughs> Great job. What? What is happening here? <laughs> okay, for design, DeepSeek is fantastic. At least when it comes to first shot. This was first shot. But there is no penguin. Where is the penguin? But this looks nice. It's a shame there is no penguin there. So this test is for testing the model ability to create points in space in a specific shape. So if you cannot do that, it's a fail, unfortunately. But the maximum score I can give for a fail is 5. So let's keep five. Pretty good. Actually, every model failed this one, but this was clearly the best for now. Make a 3D penguin simulation in a self-contained HTML file. It should have mountains, a ground where the penguins get together when it's too cold. Give me a slider for the climate temperature. Use 3JS. So let's see. Oh, okay. So this is a common problem when you're using the DeepSeek site. You can have server busy because of the sheer amount of people trying to use it. But you can just try again and see what happens. Let's, let's just try again. Okay, finally, it finished. Okay, interesting. It gave me this same icon of a penguin here. Must be getting from somewhere. I don't know. Oh, how penguins survive the cold and all. Okay, interesting. So I can move here, but the temperature doesn't change. Okay, that's disappointing. So I can't see anything and it doesn't work. But the design is pretty good. Let's try using Chrome. Might be the problem. So this is Google Chrome and same thing. Doesn't work. So that's a shame because it looked good but failed. However, nothing worked and I couldn't see anything. So for the design, I won't give zero, but I can only give one. Make me a dashboard in a self-contained HTML file to track my finances. It must have an income field and an expenses field with the date selection, a pie chart and a line chart to see my net growth over time. Give me the ability to save in a JSON file. Server busy again. Okay, so it's here. Oh, wow. Okay, there is something in the DeepSeek system prompt that makes web design so good. I think this is the best I have seen so far. What are these numbers? I don't want these numbers. Can I delete? Can I reload? Oh, when I reload, it's all here again. I can clear the data, maybe. I guess this data here doesn't go away, which is a bad sign. But let's try to use it. Let's add 100 of an income. Let's choose somewhere in the beginning of a month. So it doesn't change. That is very unfortunate because it looks so good. 
That is very unfortunate because it looks the best I have seen. But it failed. <laughs> I can't believe this. It failed. So it's five, the score, because it's the best fail possible <laughs> because it looks good. Create a simple calculator app using Python and PyQt. Give me a single Python file. Okay, it finished. After thinking for more than Eight minutes to build a simple calculator. <laughs> What? Okay, this is the app. This is the nicest looking calculator I have seen. The only problem is that I can't really see the numbers very well. I mean, I can, but the contrast is too low. But let's see if it works. So two plus two equal four. Okay, it works. It passed, finally, a score of 10. Create a photo editing app using Python and PyQt. It should have a white balance color picker, hue and saturation sliders, adjustment curves, layers with blending modes, text and brush. Give me a single Python file. It finished. Oh, okay. It looks nice. Let's see if it works. Okay, this is my profile picture. Let's see if I can adjust the curve. Nope. It crashed. Let's see the white balance. Hmm. I don't know if that works. I think, I think this doesn't work. Yeah. White balance doesn't work. Let's see the hue. Nope. Saturation. Nope. Brush settings. Can I brush? Yes, I can brush. So the brush works. The text. Okay. The test works. Nice. This is one of the best I have seen so far, but it failed. But it failed nicely, so square of five. <laughs> There are two penguins in front of a penguin, two penguins behind a penguin, and a penguin in the middle. How many penguins are there? The answer should be three. Okay, so it thought for a lot of time, and it failed. It says that there are five penguins in a line. No, that is zero. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, this one, it should be good. Translate this text into English for me. Okay, so this one is correct. It passed with a score of 10. Now, let's translate Portuguese with colloquial language and uh, common expressions. It finished. And this is the translation. Looks correct. It passed. So it's pretty good on translation. Write me a story of a cyborg penguin trying to conquer the world. <laughs> on the thinking process here, look at this. Penguinator 3000 is such a stupidly perfect name. I can't resist using it. <laughs> What? Okay, so it finished and I won't read all of it. But if you want, you can pause and read it. It's pretty entertaining, actually. It's a pass with a score of 10. You are me and I am a girl you're trying to win over. We have never talked to each other before. We are chatting in a texting app like WhatsApp. Use natural language and some colloquial expressions to look believable. Say okay if you understood. The chatting begins after I say hi. It didn't just said okay it said something else okay let's pretend that, that didn't happen hi so it answered hey haha <laughs> whoa i'm actually kind of nervous typing this that sounded so awkward sorry i've seen you at a cafe near campus a few times what your vibe super cool anyway how's your tuesday treating you okay that was not good the queen model was pretty good at impersonation but this one mm, kind of not really okay it's trying you can see it's trying it's a little bit better than google for this something about these chinese models It is a little bit better, but it still failed because this is too, I don't know, it's too chatty. You can tell it's AI. So I will say this one failed, but I will give, I will give a score of four because it was trying. Okay. So this is the final score. Dipsic R1 
the new model scored 60 out of 100. Now, a few takes. First, I noticed that this model is very good at doing UI design, especially in web apps. So, a very interesting thing you could do is using DeepSeek to do UI design of your web apps or even your Python apps. You see the calculator, how nice it was. Then, using something like Gemini to build the backend. That could be an option. So, that's it.